the war was over and I had probably a dozen cousins who were in the army during the war. Uh, one of whom was severely injured, uh, wounded, and under circumstances would have died, but uh, uh, that again is another story. Then every one of these cousins would come home and they would not be at their home two days before they'd come to see my dad. My father would write to two of them every week. You know, he would alternate. And so these people got more letters from my dad in some cases than they did from their parents. And so they were very grateful. I found out how important letters and, and communication is with your family and friends when you're away. At any rate, my mother would ask them, Vernon wants to enlist, what do you think? To a man, every one of them said, don't let him enlist, he won't like it. If he's gonna be in the army, make him draft him. So she wouldn't give my permission to join the army. I didn't really want to join the army, I preferred to the Navy, but never got to any, any of that. So I was not drafted and I did not uh, volunteer. My, uh, my senior year in high school, I won an academic scholarship to St. Louis University. So that was the next option, go to St. Louis University and talk about a scholarship, which I did. And the day I went down there to be interviewed, I was interviewed in a classroom, not too much different than this, and a, a big priest, he must have been six feet five, walked in, a Jesuit, was, if you're not Catholic, that they wear black uh, habits, walked in and I was sitting at the f in the first row and he said, Mr. Tobin, I understand you've come to talk about your scholarship. I said, yes. He said, well now, Mr. Tobin, if I put you in that bench, it wasn't just a table, if I put you in that bench, you'll be there for perhaps six to eight weeks and then you'll be drafted and that bench will be vacant for the entire semester. I can put a, put a returning GI in that desk and he'll stay there for the whole semester. So here's another guy talking me out of doing something I, I wanted to do. But I, I took it that way and, and, and uh, went on with my life.